Hello people of YouTube, my name is Sean, also known as Rogue13, here for you with a preliminary test of a rock team I'm putting together for a league event, uh, the Dark U145, Doug is going to be talking to you guys about later today. Uh, my team consists right now of Alakazam, Tarakion, Tyranitar, Aerodactyl, Cradillion, Jellicent, uh, the team I happen to be facing today. Uh, Ziage, his team, looks like Tyranitar, Aerodactyl, Metagross, Magnezone, Armaldo, Registeel. Looks like a sand team at first. Um, nothing's gonna get hit by my sand. We'll see where things go, I think. Alright, get ready. Get set. And here we go. We both go into Tyranitar turn one. I wanted to get up Sand, uh, could make a special defensive difference later on. He goes for the Dragon Dance turn one while I set up Rocks. Um, then I switch out, I go into Terrakion, not thinking about a potential superpower. Thank goodness, though, he went for the Ice Punch instead. Not sure why he went for Ice Punch there, but uh, worked out for me. I go for the Close Combat. Oko is Tyranitar. Always a nice feeling. Uh, with Tyranitar down, he is going to go into Metagross. Uh, the decreases to death and spadef don't matter for me too much, because I am planning on pulling that, uh, pulling that Terrakion out of there right away. I go into back into Tyranitar here, thinking I can get off a Fire Blast, um, take a hit, get off a Fire Blast while he goes for the agility that turn. Uh, now he definitely outspeeds me and go for the Meteor Mash. Ty uh, Tyranitar survives on one hit point. That's not a Focus Sash or anything like that. That is Tyranitar being a badass. I get off the super effective Fire Blast, get Metagross down to a uh, manageable range of hit points, he goes for the Earthquake, kills off Tyranitar. I really wasn't expecting to survive that turn. Um, I go into Cradilly. This was a mistake, I shouldn't have done that, he goes for the super effective Meteor Mash. I tend to overestimate Cradilly's bulk, especially in the Sand. Uh, especially defensive, he's fantastic, physically not so much. I go into Alakazam now, which was the right move earlier, should have taken that goes for the Earthquake, I get down to my Focus Sash. I go for the Focus Blast here, I should have gone for the Shadow Ball, uh, so there wasn't really a missed chance. Focus Blast did work out for me though, he goes into Registeel. I'm gonna know I outspeed, I go for another, uh, another Focus Blast. Uh, with the crit, it brings him really far down, thank heavens for that crit. Uh, he takes me out of there with a seismic toss. Now Alakazam is down for the count. Um, now that Registeel's down at a at a range where I can do stuff about it, I go into Aerodactyl now. I would have gone for the Earthquake, um, but the Stone Edge uh, would hit him if he switched into Aerodactyl or if something had a balloon. Um, he now goes into Armaldo. Um, I kill it off with a single Stone Edge, which is nice. Not quite an Oko because of the rocks helping me out when he switched in. Uh, now he's gonna go into Magnazone. My rocks can't really do much to him, and my um, Earthquake can't touch him because he's on a balloon. So I'm gonna switch into Jellicent, try to pop that balloon. Um, he goes for the Thunder Wave on the switch, which isn't such a big deal because of the Lumberry I've got on Jellicent. Uh, Jellicent's now gonna go for the Scald, pop that balloon, hopefully get the burn. And yes, I do, I do in fact get the burn here. Um, now I'm gonna die to a Thunderbolt. Um, really hadn't been thinking about them when I switched Jellicent in. The main purpose was pop that balloon. Um, get him down to something where Aerodactyl can do something about it. But having seen that Thunderbolt, I'm leery about putting Aerodactyl back, and I go into Terrakion instead. Go for the close combat, kill off Magnezone. Uh, now that Magnezone's down, he's just got his one Aerodactyl left. I'm gonna go for another close combat now. Hopefully, maybe outspeed it, but mostly just chump Terrakion, get a safe switch in into my own Aerodactyl, actually. And now the last two pokes of the match, um, it's Aerodactyl versus Aerodactyl. 
my Aerodactyl out speeds, because I do believe I am jolly. I get the Stone Edge, and it hits, and Aerodactyl, his Aerodactyl, is down. Um, that was a fantastic battle. Really had fun battling against Ziage today. Um, Zioge, I really don't know how to pronounce that. Um, uh, we did in fact go for a rematch, uh, didn't get to finish that, so we're gonna need to do that again at some point. Uh, fantastic opponent, had a lot of fun playing against him today. Uh, if you do ever see him on Showdown, uh, give him a call, give me a call, just sort of say, Hey, saw your battle online against uh, Rogue13, thought you might like to battle. Anyway, um, I am now going to hand it off to the Dark U145 for some closing comments about stuff that's going on with uh, the League, and Sinnoh League Masters specifically and stuff like that. So, um, Doug, over to you. Thank you very much, Sean. Anyway, what's up, guys? Doug, otherwise known as the Dark Ewing 45, otherwise known as your acting SLM leader right now, uh, since D-Dog is kind of out of the loop a little bit. He's, uh, working, getting a little technical difficulties taken care of, um, so hopefully he'll be back sometime soon. But anyway, I'm here to talk to you about the League. We are pulling together the last few gyms. We've still got a couple openings if people would still like to join SLM, uh, get together a gym team, test it out, see how it's going, and otherwise we're going to start taking challengers hopefully pretty soon, as soon as D-Dog starts getting back in the swing of things so that he can, you know, come back and take on some challengers, and that'll be fun. Anyway... Other news, um, between myself, Seahawk09, uh, Rogue13, and the Bard, a whole bunch of us here, we're just going to keep bringing you guys some battles, keep you guys interested, see a couple of the gym teams, maybe a little bit. Um, we're not going to be giving away any Elite Four champion teams yet. Just some of the gym teams. Uh, feel free to counter team. Lol, I'm kidding. Don't. Please don't. <laughs> and actually, best of luck with that. But anyway, I've been rambling for far too long. Um, we're just going to keep bringing you some battles and some random shit. And speaking of random shit, here is SLM's Rogue 13, otherwise known as Sean, once again, with a public service announcement. Take it away, Sean. They're coming. The angels are coming for you. But listen, your life could depend on this. Don't blink. Don't even blink. Blink and you're dead. They're fast. Faster than you can believe. Don't turn your back. Don't look away. And don't blink. Good luck.